Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Captain Rock Savage here, here to bring you another video this week on one of the applications that I use in my stream. A lot of you always ask me, hey Rock, what are those sounds, what, who are the flight attendants, and what application are you using that brings your sim so, so to life? And that's what we're going to cover here on this video today. We're going to go over PackX. PackX is a phenomenal application that brings the cabin and the cabin crew to life while flying within the simulator. Now, PackX is used in multiple different sims, however, we're specifically talking about Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, PackX has been around in Microsoft Flight Simulator for quite a bit of time. I don't know exactly when it officially released, however, it has been around for quite a bit of time. It's a really good way to bring the sim to life, make it immersive while being in the cockpit of the aircraft, and really just having the background sounds going from the cabin crew all the way to all the passengers boarding the aircraft. Now, we'll go over the application here just a li in a little bit. However, I do want to say, uh, you know, for the for the sounds that you will hear as far as the American Airlines sounds or really any company sounds that you hear that are specific to the safety videos those do not come with the application itself they will come with just more of a generic sound base or sound pack however at the same time you can always find um, you know safety demos or anything like that online or YouTube and, and you can create your own they all just use basically a dot wave uh, file so you have the ability to really customize this application as well so let's get into the let's get into the application here. So as you can see, you got a beautiful little wheel here with the middle saying menu, and you have a settings option. Now I'm going to drag this over here, and believe it or not, it took me a long time to realize that you can actually drag this application around. For the longest time, I didn't know that, but uh, obviously, you find you find out things uh, from watching others. So when you go into the settings, there's going to be a little menu that's going to pop up. Now you're going to get a lot of options here. We're not really going to go over too much of this information. Um, however, you do have the ability to select anything in here uh, from keeping the Pack uh, X application on above any other window, so it'll never go away. Um, you have the ability to do vocal auto accept time. So this is for when you are speaking to the cabin. Yes, you can actually speak to the cabin. Um, you have the ability for it to give you about five seconds before you can cancel that or do anything in that nature uh, You have your audio set up. So obviously for your headphones and then for my For instance my microphone. I'm going to want to use my Microphone setting so we'll go ahead and use that you can switch all these cabin volumes or crew volumes all that kind of good, good stuff uh, one of the bigger sections that I like to highlight is the mute audio and external view. Now I mute I mute this because obviously when you're in the external view you're not going to be able to hear announcements or anything like that. So just keep that in mind like you have that ability to do that. If you want to keep it as immersive as possible definitely suggest you do that and select that little box there. Now all of this little stuff here is you can set up key binds, do whatever you need to do to make it uh, either you know for instance if you want to be able to click buttons really quickly instead of using this wheel you can go ahead and do all that stuff we won't really get into that too much uh, but it does have these options if you care to to go through that so we'll get into the application here if you hit menu it's gonna bring you into this fancy little page here um, they do have a manage career mode you can go through career mode however for me personally I'm not really big in the career section for this application I do have an application that is separate uh, called Simbit world uh, pilots life that I do use for the career aspect and that is a separate application we'll cover that in a different video however for this specific application they do have a managed career mode you can use it for a career mode if you so wish it does track all your flights and stuff like that um, however we do not use this application for that so if I go ahead and hit start flight now it's gonna bring me to this really nice menu here now you could see that it's gonna show that you can tick this little fly uh, with career mode if you want to do that you can manage careers with different companies and all that good stuff we don't use any of that personally I just simply use it for the sounds and the flights uh, the flight setup um, I use it for simply the flight setup and that's it now for your departure and arrival as you can see our last flight we flew from San Diego to Phoenix this does integrate with Simbrief, so this will auto populate if you have a flight uh, connected with Simbrief, ready to go from your airport. So we are currently in Tucson, so I'm just going to go ahead and select Tucson. 
and we would be cruising at a flight of let's just I'm just gonna throw a flight of 26,000 feet in there okay and time until takeoff can be that our flight time will be 28 minutes okay so just using this as an example so our flight uh, number is gonna be American 1949 We'll go ahead and select next and now you're going to get a page of the aircraft so now this is actually all adjustable so if you want to add in different uh, layouts for aircrafts and stuff like that you could totally go and do that so if you select aircraft you're going to see a ton of different aircraft that you can select from um, this will auto generate based on the aircraft that you're in so you won't really have to worry about this however if you do have multiple different setups for your airplane you can go ahead and select that so as you can see we are on a full aircraft of 174 passengers on board and you can select if your aircraft has Wi-Fi or any in-flight entertainment systems. Now we have both we'll just say so we'll go ahead and select both of them and select next. Now you can see that we get into the boarding music and safety demonstration. Now this is very very important for all of you. Now like I said earlier I'm going to reference back to what I said in the previous uh, disclaimer so to speak. If you guys have custom audio setups for your safety briefings, this is where you're going to basically set this up now, uh, as well as boarding music. So if I click on boarding music, it's going to bring me up a little audio file section for PackX. Now, as you guys can see, we have a list of different air uh, or different uh, airliners and companies that you can see that you'll have the ability to switch to if you have if you so choose. Now, for the sake of the video today, I'm going to just play boarding music from one of the three. Now, you get Ambient Wave, Epic Dot Wave, and I believe there's one more, Motivational Dot Wave. Now, these three are the three basic boarding music sounds that come with this application. So, we'll just go ahead and pick Motivational, okay? We'll open that up, and we'll see that kind of generate in here, and you'll see the name of that pop up. Now for custom safety briefing, there is a generic custom safety briefing, which is still very, very good. However, if you're like me and you want to have the most immersion possible and uh, the most realistic feel when flying, um, this is where this is going to be key. You can download these um, from other websites or you can actually find them on YouTube and basically create a sound file for them and, and do all that if you so wish. Some, uh, some airliners or, or some companies are going to be harder to find since a lot of them don't just have a video that play basically. So you do have to kind of either find a live um, audio recording of some sort and essentially make a dot .wav file and then implement that yourself. So if you hit custom safety briefing, it's going to bring you up again to PackX custom safety demonstration. So this is a separate uh, file. Now, as you guys can see, I have a ton of different uh, airliners in here. For instance, uh, we are here with American, so we do have an American safety.wave. So we would go ahead and open that. Now that'll play a special American uh, custom safety briefing, which is the actual video that they use currently within uh, the company. Now you have the ability to select if the flight attendants are going to serve snacks, drinks, meals, um, if custom uh, cards are required. So it actually will know this if you are switching com or switching countries. So for instance, if we were going to go to, let's just say, Mexico from Tucson, it would actually say that custom cards are required and they would hand out custom cards or anything like that along the flight uh, when we're getting a little bit closer to our destination. So there is stuff like that which will automatically check. It will know where you're going, which is really cool. Now, for the from the serving meals aspect, we'll go ahead and uh, deselect that because that's not a feature that we're going to uh, have on this flight today. And for your sake and the video's sake, we're not going to play or we're not going to go through the entire flight and go through every single safety sound that we hear, any type of uh, cabin sounds that we hear. We're just going to go through the basic start here and just kind of really showing you guys what I use uh, in my streams. Now, you do have the ability to select this flight number continues. Uh, so when you land on the ground, the flight attendants will announce that this number will continue on to another destination, wherever that may be. And that uh, if you are continuing on this flight, that uh, you will remain seated and let the other passengers essentially get off the aircraft and then before you move around or what, anything like that. So at this point, we would just hit start. For your sake, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm going to make the list of passengers only 22 just because of the sake of 170 uh, plus passengers, it's gonna take quite a bit of time to actually get on the aircraft. Now we set it to realistic. So that being said, if it's set on realistic, it's gonna take a minute. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and hit start. And now, as you could tell, we don't hear anything, right? Because we have it muted in external. So let's hop into the cockpit and uh, see if we hear any sounds. All right, so we are in the cockpit here. And as you guys can probably hear at this time, you hear motivational sounds, right? Or you hear the motivational wave sound. Not to mention, you also hear probably the sound of passengers loading on, messing around with the overhead bins, bringing their, their luggage on, and closing the handles, right? These are all sounds that are implemented from PackX and what you guys hear while I'm streaming in the background. Now, a lot of you always ask me, what are these sounds? And this is strict. This is straight from PackX. So if you guys download PackX, you purchase PackX, this is what you're going to get. Now, it's a phenomenal application, like I've said. And one of my favorite things about this app is just the immersion. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get this aircraft started up. Obviously, we won't uh, bore you with that. We'll get this plane started up and we'll get pushed back. And therefore, you can actually hear the lovely sounds of the safety briefing. So I'll see you guys when we're getting pushed back. Cabin crew, prepare doors for departure. Cross check, verify straps, and stand by for all calls. All right. So welcome back into the sim as you guys just heard Hello, the flight attendants went ahead and made a phenomenal uh little presentation there so we're gonna go ahead and get pushed back here from the gate we're just waiting on the flight crew or the uh the mechanic crew down below they're gonna go ahead and push us uh back here in just a second and then uh we should be all good the ground crew is gonna talk to the uh to the flight deck here a couple times and then we'll go ahead and get pushed back Now, yes, I will tell you that we are using GSX, obviously, and GSX is the ground crew there that you are hearing talk to the uh, the flight deck here. So that is a separate application. Once again, this is not PackX. PackX is the only thing we are showcasing in this specific video today. So what we're going to do as we get pushed back, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our um, window views. And then that uh, that way you can listen uh, to the cabin crew make the announcements. Now, it will still play from the flight deck as well. Um, so it's not going to change whether you go from the flight deck or to the cabin crew. However, I feel like it's just good for the immersion to go to the window views when anytime you hear any of the uh, safety demonstrations going on or anything like that. At least that's for me. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen for an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your attention. It's time to get you ready for takeoff. We know you have lots of choices, so thanks for choosing American. We're happy to be your airline. Now, like I've said previously, this is strictly only a custom video set that you have to choose or find. This is not something that will come with the base application. It would be more of a generic, app, uh, generic safety briefing. Once again, this is just basically for you guys to hear what you have uh, the ability to hear while being pushed back or anything like that, and just basically making it very immersive. All right, so welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that nice little video there on how the video and any custom sounds basically can get implemented to the sim all by downloading a couple of sound waves and throwing them into a simple folder. Now, to just kind of go over a couple extra little features here just to kind of show you exactly what this application truly offers. One, one of my favorite things, and I'm sure if you guys watch my stream, once again, I do stream on Twitch, Captain Rock Savage, definitely go give a, uh, a follow if you don't already and give a like and sub here on YouTube. But one of the main things that I really love that I'm sure, like I said, you guys have seen is when I talk to the cabin and it plays back, right? So for instance, we're going to dem demo that right now. If I hit this little button down here, it's going to look like a microphone. Good morning. Welcome aboard American Flight 1949 in service up to Phoenix. 
Hope you all have been having a great day so far. We're going to be cruising at 26,000 feet. Should be relatively smooth. It's going to be a hot one today. So uh, relatively no air out there. So it should be a relatively smooth flight even on the approach into Phoenix. Thanks again. Welcome aboard. And now it's going to give me that five seconds like I talked about earlier. Good morning. Welcome aboard American Flight 1949 in service up to Phoenix. Hope you all are having a great day so far. We're going to be cruising at 26,000 feet. Should be relatively smooth. It's going to be a hot one today. So uh, relatively no air out there. So it should be a relatively smooth flight even on the approach into Phoenix. Thanks again. Welcome aboard. And that is how you do any of the custom sounds that uh, sometimes you hear me make announcements to the cabin in my stream. And that's how I do it right here, right through Pack X. It's that simple. And once again, that's something that you can do all through these settings there, uh, with just configuring your microphone to the uh, the simple slots there. And it's all it's all that easy. It's all that easy. One of my other favorite features here is the little airplane button. You can see that it's showing us currently in the pushback section. And uh, our expected departure is in 18 minutes and 27 seconds. We are currently 95% satisfied. I'm not sure why that's not 100. But as you see, cabin status, ready for departure. So they're ready to go. And you can even click on this little three-person button up here, which, once again, I did not know this until, um, you know, having the application for almost a year. You click on this and you can see everything. These little white dots here are the flight attendants. They're walking around. And you can see that, obviously, I made the app, uh, I made the aircraft for this flight uh, fairly, fairly light. And you can see that uh, we have a lot of uh, passengers scattered out throughout this flight today. So some of the really cool things that you can see here that you have the ability to really uh, go through the in depth what you want to do uh, even from the cab or the, the the captain side you can even go and go through this app and start serving food or anything like that if I go into the interaction page you'll see that uh, you can go ahead and select a bunch of these different things here now for instance if I hit return to gate right and I give a reason let's just say uh, a passenger issue we have to return to gate for a passenger issue let me go ahead and click that and you guys can hear this ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck this is your first officer speaking because we have to address a passenger related situation we are going to have to return to the gate so I hit that now let's check this out and look at that passenger satisfaction is now unsatisfied and they're at 31 percent div uh, diversion status is we're diverting and expected arrival now is NA, simply because now we are going to be taxing back to the gate. And yeah, so a couple of things there that you're going to hear, uh, you know, just throughout this entire video is I love this application, right? Um, and, it, and it is a really good application. It's just one of those applications that I use for the immersion and, you know, just trying to show you all what I use as far as all the sounds that happen. I know a lot of you, you know, they like a lot of you ask me, hey, you know, what are those sounds? Well, this is it. This is it right here. PackX. Uh, you can get it off their website. I'm pretty sure it's on Sim Market. There's places, tons of places that you can pick up PackX from definitely recommend this application once again it is a phenomenal application will really make your next flight immersive we hope you enjoyed the video thanks again so much all for watching if you stayed all the way to the end we do hope that you like it subscribe to our youtube channel also give us a follow over on twitch uh captain rock savage name doesn't change thanks again thanks for flying with us and we'll see you on the next video take care